how are you? So it's been a couple days since I've talked to you, I think. And let's see what's been going on. The big thing is, okay, two big things this week. Keto and yellow jackets. So Fred and I started keto a week ago and I have lost 5.6 pounds as of today. But, and this is TMI, but I just tested my pee <laughs> and I am in the optimal keto range right now. So let's go. And you guys know that I, I weight is important, health is important, but um, it's not everything. You are beautiful exactly how you come. I am beautiful exactly how I come. And I make no apologies to the world, however I come. But um, it was getting a little bit out of hand and my body was a little bit more inflamed. I had gained a little bit of weight back. And as if you've been a long time viewer, then you know that I have had uh, gastric sleeve surgery. I had that in August of 18. And so four years ago, in a few weeks here and I had lost 85 pounds and then I gained a little back I my lowest weight was 163 and then um, I climbed back up a little bit <laughs> and that's okay because I did not like myself at 163 I liked the way my body felt I liked wearing smaller clothes I liked feeling the way I felt in that younger body or smaller body but I didn't like the way I looked so all of this loose skin this jowliness that I tend to have is from losing almost a hundred pounds and while I have gained a little bit of it back as I've gained some weight back it's still there a little bit I don't want to lose so much weight that I don't look good you know what I mean that I just look gaunt and sick I don't want that I would say that I felt my best and everybody's different everybody's different at their weight if you're if you feel awesome at a different weight great do you celebrate you I learned that I felt and looked the best right around like 185 to 190 and um, so that's where I'm aiming so I have 15 pounds to go. I had 20, I've lost five. So I have 15 pounds to go. This morning I was 204.2. And um, so we're on our way. So I don't have a whole lot to lose, just a little bit. I would say one thing that's been helping me is that I actually subscribe to meals from Factor, Keto Meals. And this is not sponsored. I'm just telling you what I did because lately I have not been wanting to cook and I knew that if it was up to me to make dinners every day by the time I get off work I'm so tired and like I'm not feeling it I would just sit down and end up eating like a handful of nuts and that's just not healthy so I did instead of buying groceries I have subscribed to factor meals and they are delicious girl they are so good so anyways um the other big news is that there was a yellow jacket infestation in that wall right there they were coming in from the outside through the porch light the people who installed the porch lights didn't put a mounting plate behind the light fixture so there's like a huge gap Here, let me show you Can you see behind the light fixture how there's a big gap? They were crawling up there and getting in behind the wires. And the other place they were is in my mailbox. I'm so grateful nobody got hurt. I have had a new mailbox in my garage since I moved in. And because the other one, it looked like somebody backed into it. It was like cracked and wonky. And the lady I purchased the house from had said, 
hey, I have this new mailbox I never put on. Do you want me to bring it to you? I'm like, yeah, thanks. But she didn't tell me it didn't have any hardware or anything with it, but that's a different story. Um, anyways, as I was pulling the old mailbox off of the post that's cemented into the ground, I noticed all these yellow jackets started flying out. And I, was, I ran and got some spray, like some wasp spray, and Fred laid the mailbox on the ground and when I came out I looked and like up inside the the leg of the mailbox big wasps nest so I am so grateful that I am protected and that neither one of us got hurt because that was a huge swarm and they were really aggressive but we didn't get hurt we didn't get stung at all. Amen to that. So thank you universe for your protection through my ignorance. <laughs> and Because later I learned how territorial and aggressive they can be. And once they sting you, they don't die. They just keep stinging. And they have enough venom in them that they could poison you after they keep stinging you and like they could kill you. So I'm really grateful that we're safe. And um, so I did get the mailbox replaced. I, I installed that and it didn't quite go all the way to the ground the post was just a little bit too high so I sprayed I took spray foam and I sprayed all underneath it and around the base and then once it dried and sat up it gets really hard I took my multi tool out there and shaved it down and then sealed it so hopefully they won't be getting up in there but the next day I went to get the mail they were building inside my mailbox. So I knocked what little nest they had already built out and got them out of there, got my mail, came out a little while later with some wasp spray. They had already started rebuilding again, sprayed it all down, and there's the mailbox where the mail goes, and then underneath that is a separate compartment where if you get a newspaper or something, it can slide in and it has a little door. And so, Later on that evening, when uh, Fred had stopped by for something and when he was leaving, I was like, will you do me a favor and just like go look in that mailbox and make sure everything's cool. And so he went out and sure enough, in that bottom compartment, he said there was like nine of them in there they had already built. So I found an exterminator today and um, a local guy, he's actually a beekeeper and I, took a clip of him I think uh, I'll insert it here of him getting suited up in his his big hat and everything his mask so he's a beekeeper by trade and he does exterminating and this type of thing on the side so we went all around my house and made sure there was nothing else there because you know yellow jackets nest in the ground typically either in the ground or inside of some kind of structure and there were he's like have you noticed any holes in your yard and I'm like yeah actually I thought maybe they were like a gardener snake or something like that and so um, he asked me that on the phone yesterday and so after he said that I was like mm, this is what's in my yard <clears throat> so I had looked up a couple of TikTok videos and YouTube videos and this one guy on TikTok had said you can check for activity in the holes if you take like a, a clear glass bowl or a clear glass jar and set it upside down over the hole during the night or after dusk because at dusk all the yellow jackets come home for the night. So once they're all in the hive, put the clear glass bowl or jar over it and let it sit and in the morning see if there's any activity in the jar like they're trying to get out and it needs to be a clear glass one because they need to be able to see the sky or see the sun uh, so that they think they can get out because if not they're just gonna go back in and go sideways and like burrow another hole somewhere so I um I have this great big mason jar huge that I use for a vase so I put that over one and then I didn't have anything else clear glass but I had um, like Tupperware containers, Rubbermaid containers, and they're plastic. They're not 
quite clear, but they're see-through. So I was like, well, this is just gonna have to do. So I turned one of those upside down and it went fine. This morning there was no activity, everything's good. And so he just had to treat the porch light and the mailbox. And so he treated those and he said within 24 hours they should all be gone. And um, he also put something on it. It's pet and child friendly, but it's supposed to leave a residual for like 90 days or something so that they won't rebuild. So since I don't want them to rebuild, anybody to rebuild behind my light, I've been wanting to replace the light fixtures on this house anyways. So, um, but it just wasn't in the plan for right now. Low spend year, I was like, we could do that next year. It's not crucial, but it is crucial if things are building back there that could potentially kill you or my grandchildren or, no, this needs addressed now. So they make these blocks these like mounting blocks that conform to the shape of your siding on your house. They're meant to go on there and like seal the, you know how siding comes out and goes in, comes out and goes in. It's like meant to mount flush to that. And then you put your light on top of that and install it. So I did order some of those from Amazon. The light came, but the other things have not come yet. They're supposed to come today. And so this is the porch light I ordered and I got some Edison bulbs for it. I have to give it at least 24 hours for the stuff to work and to be done working, make sure that they're gone. And so then I can install those. And I also, while I was at it, I ordered the matching ones to go on the front of the garage. So I will be doing those as well. <sighs> that was a mouthful. I'm really grateful that we're safe. Nobody got hurt. It's gone. All is well. All is well, all is well, all is well. And all shall be well. What else is happening? Low spend year has not been going well. <laughs> That's not been going well this summer. Um, there's just some things I've been wanting to do. And, you know, I was explaining to Fred the other day, I'm like, you know, my brain tends to grab onto something and just like grind with it. Like now I know it's part of ADHD. You hyper focus on something and you just hyper focus, hyper focus. And so like when I moved into this house a year and a half ago, there are certain things that I wanted to do right away or certain things that I knew I needed to do before I did the next thing. So for example, I know I've talked about this before at some point, but I wanna redo my bathroom upstairs. Now, it needs to go in phases. I'm not going to have the budget to just redo it all at one time, and that's okay. But I keep telling myself, just throw up a simple coat of paint, freshen it up, make it someplace you wanna be. Well, I don't wanna go through the trouble of painting it until I address those baseboards, because one, they're ugly. I don't know what in the world they were thinking, putting things like, I don't, you have to see it. Instead of like a little, they put the baseboard and then instead of putting a little piece of quarter round, they put like this huge, almost a one by two, it looks like, at the bottom of it, it looks ridiculous. Plus, around the shower and stuff, you can see that there's some rot from the shower and so all of those baseboards need replaced. The linoleum that's in there also needs replaced. You could tell, they either never fastened it or at some point there had been water because you step on the linoleum, it's a little bit spongy. So I'm like, I don't wanna paint until I can address the baseboards. And I can't address the baseboards until I have a miter saw and stuff because like, I don't wanna do all that by hand. And while I have the baseboards off, I might as well do the floor, so I have to decide what I wanna do with the floor. And my brain's just like, okay, do nothing. 
So the other day I found a miter saw that has really good reviews and it was super cheap. It was on sale. It was only like $99 and I was like, hmm, okay. And then on Prime Day, the multi-tool that I've been wanting was only $35. The Ryobi multi-tool, $35. Got that. And um, just, so just little things like that. And it's like, yeah, I'm going to buy that. Yeah, I'm going to buy that. <laughs> But anyways, now I have those couple of things that I've been needing. So now I just need to figure out what floor I want to put up there and buy some baseboards. And then I'm just going to put some lipstick on that pig until I can actually remodel my bathroom. Just like slap some paint on there and go from there. I know one thing I wanted your guys' opinion on. So you know how last year I had just kind of done a, a rough draft, a shitty rough draft of this bathroom. I put this orange paint on the wall, which I think we all knew I might have trouble dealing with that color. Well, I decided to embrace the color and like go even further. Like if you're gonna go bold, go bold. Embrace it. So, I bought this wallpaper to replace this because I didn't have enough of this. This was from the other house I owned. I didn't have enough of it to really go, so it like kind of ends there. It just looks stupid. This was just a placeholder. So I bought this wallpaper. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's so bold and pretty. But anyways, it's going to go here behind the mirror. Such a small bathroom, you can't even really see it. It's gonna go there behind the mirror and it's going to be bold and beautiful and the orange actually kind of matches perfectly to what's there the problem is now i'm like whoa <laughs> that's a lot of color that's a lot of bold i don't know if i'm gonna love it or if i'm really gonna hate it it's gonna be one or the other so the other option that i have is because I want to use up the paint that I have and I have that paint that from my last house I put in the entryway it's called antique jade by glidden or is it by bear anyways antique jade and it's like a, a soft sagey green color which also matches the wallpaper do you guys think I should leave the wall orange? Or do you think that I should change it to green? Like light gray green sage color? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. Help me figure this out, please. Anyways, so the other things that I'm doing is I ordered a, what's the word? Words are hard. It's Friday at 6 p.m. I'm hungry and my brain is fuzzy. <laughs> Um, I ordered a new blind for my bedroom window because I ordered new curtains. I don't know, it was a whole thing. I want to get my bedroom done. And I own most of the things, but it's like I needed curtains and things like that. So anyways, I found curtains that I, I like. I mean, I don't hate. There's that. I found curtains that I like and they were only $20 a pair on Amazon. Super cute. So I'm going to go get those hung up and get my blind hung up hopefully this weekend. The other thing I've been doing is Courtney is getting ready for a yard sale. That's my daughter in case you don't know. So I have been going through the house and purging and like these are my old bedroom curtains I just took down. But so far I have all of this stuff that I'm going to be putting in the yard sale and um, she already took a couple of things and I have some more in the garage. So I've been decluttering. I think I'll put a little bit of footage in here. I think I did a little bit of it for you guys. Good morning, happy Sunday. I am taking my own advice today. If you've seen my video that I posted this morning actually on the Lionsgate portal, I talk about how one of the things that you can do uh, to help align with this energy is to declutter your space. 
my daughter Courtney is having a yard sale soon, so I want to go through some of my house and just declutter these places where I shove things and <laughs> go through things and see what I can weed out and that I just don't need that are just causing energetic clutter in my life. So I'm just going to take like a half an hour or an hour. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. You can just do little bits at a time and um, see what I can accomplish. Hang out with me. My daughter has some cute sandals in here, but her feet are way bigger than mine and I can't wear them. I have had this Instant Pot in here for like two years. It's never even been opened. The plastic is still <laughs> wrapped around the box. catch-all so who knows what we'll find in here that's where my iPad went I've been looking for that there's a dragonfly just chilling on my back fence I think I need to go see if that's actually what it is you see it like right there? I'm zoomed in as much as I can. I don't want to scare it away. Stormy, can you keep it there? Oh, it's beautiful. Hello. That's definitely a dragonfly. It's blue and white and it has brown wings. How beautiful. You're so pretty. I wish I could zoom in closer. Hello. Thank you for coming to visit me. It's like, back off, lady. <laughs> so peaceful. It's just the crickets chirping. Look how beautiful, you guys. That one's almost as tall as I am. I don't even know if it picks up on camera, but the sun is setting and it looks so beautiful.
It's a beautiful Friday evening and I'm going to sit out here and enjoy the smell of the fresh cut grass and I'm going to watch the rest of the sunset. It's a little cloudy so it's not too clear but still beautiful. So guess what happened yesterday? We hit 27,000 subscribers. Yes, we did. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. You made my day. This year has been a year of slow growth, but you know what? Growth is still growth and progress is still progress. And every time a person subscribes to this channel, it means that they're finding information that they need to help them navigate the spiritual awakening and to help change the world by raising their vibes and opening their minds and it's all good stuff so how exciting someone sent me a comment or a message or something not too long ago and she's like I just came across this video I just found you and it says that you are celebrating 2,000 subscribers and I just looked at your count and you're at like 26 <laughs> holy cow so yeah that's awesome so yesterday we hit 27 and Ooh, and I have a surprise for you guys. I have a surprise for you guys. So to celebrate 27,000, I have a giveaway for you guys. There was an awesome company who asked me if I would be willing to try out their USB lighters. If you haven't seen these, they're very cool. And I've actually had them in my Amazon wish list for quite a while and I just haven't pulled the trigger to buy one. And so they said, yeah, uh, would you like to try one? And I'm like, mm-hmm, thank you. <laughs> so they also sent a free one along for you guys. Okay, so if you are interested in entering the giveaway for this, I need you to be subscribed to my YouTube not just following along, not just watching along, but subscribe, hit the button. I need you to go over to my Instagram and be following me there. And then in the comments for the post on Instagram about this vlog, I want you to leave the word amethyst. And then on, when should I end this? Let me look at a calendar. Hang on. Okay, so we're gonna go until August 21st. That's a solid couple of weeks. So, like me on Instagram, subscribe to me on YouTube. In the comment section for this vlog, post on IG, leave the word amethyst, and then on Sunday the 21st, I will draw a random, I'll use a random number generator, and I will choose the comment that wins the free lighter and I will ship it to you. So let me tell you a little bit about this lighter. So this is the USB lighter. Very simple to use. I like that it's sustainable. You don't have to keep buying new lighters. You simply plug it in and recharge it. And here's, I don't know if that's focusing. There is a mini USB port here on the end and there's an on and off switch that slides. Um, when you're using it, this lights up to show you how charged it is, these little lights do. But you just slide the lever and you get a little electric arc right here that you use to light your candle. There you go. So, um, and here you can see the light slid up. So very handy. I like that it's rechargeable. I like that I will never have to spend money to purchase a lighter again unless I want to. And um, you can just keep it charged. So if any of you would be interested in purchasing one of those, they did give me a link and a code as well for a discount. So I'm gonna put all of that information in the description box below. Um, I'm gonna look for your guys' entries to the giveaway and I'm excited. I'm excited to bless you guys because you have blessed me. So I think that's about it for this vlog. I 
appreciate you hanging out with me. I love you all and I'll talk to you soon.